So now we're going to go over how to start meetings and schedule meetings um, within Microsoft Teams here. And meetings are basically video calls, right? That's in reference meetings are video calls here in Microsoft Teams. Um, so I'm going to go over how to start those and schedule those. There's a couple different ways you can go ahead and start a meeting in a few different areas. Um, one is in the activities, you're just in the general team and channel for the whole company. You can click in the top right and start a meeting. Um, and when you do that, you'll see you'll get this window that pops up and you can change the name of the meeting here. So you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Um, you can turn on and off your camera here, um, do background filters if you turn your camera on. Um, and again, you, you can change this once the call starts. This is just, do you wanna start the call with your camera on or off? Um, computer audio, you probably wanna leave that on. You can choose your microphone here. You can mute it or just by turning it on or off. You can adjust um, the volume if you want to. You can hit these to go to device settings. So right now I'm using an external microphone from my computer. You can see that in audio devices. Um, you can see speakers, headphones. You can change those to whatever you need. So if you have external equipment, you want to go and make sure you have those things set up for your microphone um, and your camera here too also pops up so you can go ahead and select your external webcam if you have one or if not you can just keep it as your internal one the one that's just built into your laptop or monitor so that's where you can go change some of those settings if you need to um, and if you hit the settings gear on the video tab here you'll get that same pop-up uh, menu where you can adjust speakers microphones and uh, your cameras if you need to um, there's a few other options here. Um, most of the time you, you won't use those. Um, there's room audio and if you have special equipment, um, for Microsoft teams in your actual offices and stuff, you can use that. Um, it's basically an external speaker that you can connect to. Um, but since most of us are working from home these days, um, it'll just be your computer audio or don't use audio at all. Um, join muted to avoid causing audio disruptions. Up to you. Um, and if you just click join now, it will go ahead and start the meeting. And when this happens, you can copy meeting link or share via your default email. Um, I just copy the link and then send it to whoever you want. It's whatever works better for you or easier for you. And once you send it to them, they basically just, whether you email it, send it in a Microsoft Teams chat or whatever, um, they'll be able to just click on the link and it'll bring them right into the call here. And if I minimize that, you can see here on the general um, team that we were just in, um, there is a message here where people can just go to this page and click join and they'll join this meeting, okay? If we open this back up, um, you know you have all your options here and you can leave or end the meeting. I'm gonna end the meeting. And close out of that. Um, so that's how you can go and kind of start one here. If you go to the Teams tab, you'll see it's gonna be very similar, but now you can do it for individual teams and individual channels within those teams. You see you have the Meet button here, and let's say if I just go to an individual channel here, you can click Meet, and you're gonna get the same thing that pops up here um, with all of your same controls that we went over before that you can go and adjust. I'm going to tap join now just to show you that it is going to go ahead and look the same 
as it did there. But this is only going to be accessible by the people who are in this team and in this channel. Um, that's where we've set up this meeting. So again, I can copy the link and send it out if I want to. But again, if people are in this uh, channel, they can go ahead and join it. But maybe there's someone outside of this channel, but you want them on the call. Um, you can create it in here and then send them the link and they, they can join it if they want to. Um, but again, everyone in this team and in the sub channel um, should be able to join. So not everyone in the team, but everyone in the channel, right? Should be able to join. And if you want to know the difference between teams and channels and how to set up all that stuff, um, I've made a video about that, which you can go ahead and click on and watch here if you want to. So that's another way to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just end this call. And now that's how you can start meetings right away. So what if you want to schedule one? Well, you can do that in the meetings tab here on the left. And you can do meet right away, uh, which if we click on that, It's going to start a meeting here um, that's really just going to be us until we share it. So you can see meeting with me um, until we actually share the links. So this time we'll actually have to share that link out so people can access this meeting if you start one from it, the meetings tab right away. But you can schedule a meeting. And we can set the name, set the time and everything. And so if we do that, we'll click schedule and you can copy the meeting invitation and just email it to people, or you can share uh, via the Google calendar. Um, if that's what your company uses, if everyone kind of uses Google calendar, you can share it that way too. So if we just copy the meeting invitation. You can see it's paste. Um, we copied it. Um, and we can send it out as an email or a text or in the chat here or post it in a team or something like that. So let's just see if we just post it in a team. You can see what it looks like, right? We start a new conversation. We'll paste the meeting invitation and we can send it here and people will see it and they can just click here to join the meeting. So while you're in a specific uh, team and channel and stuff like that, you can't really schedule one. You can just start it right away. But again, you can just do what we did, schedule one, and then just paste the information in that specific uh, team or channel or, or in the chat, who, whoever you want to send it to. That's why it is uh, scheduled. So that's how you can go and start meetings or schedule meetings in a a variety of different ways. Hopefully this video helps and if it does go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one on how to make technology work better for you. Thanks.